Hey everyone, this is Manly Badass Zero, and welcome back to Arya's story. Previously, we entered the book world, where everything was just A-OK. -okay. Are you up on stage to tell a cool joke? So you've got humorous side to you. So you think about playing a fun game, wanna do it? Not yet. Scooby doo, we go into the save point, shabbity doo. Remember, kids, always save the game. Alright. Somewhere hit a red ball. Go find it. You want a clue? It's behind the bookshelf. Oh, wait! Red library, so there's about to be a lot of them. Guess my clue is useless. Ha <laughs> ha. There's, there's actually only so many bookshelves. Like, like seriously, there's only so many. I can literally just... What was that? Is that a clown? Yeah, it was one of the clowns. No, that's just that. It's behind these. But these are a death trap. Maybe we come back to that later. Don't be there, clown. Okay. That's what I thought. Maybe it's not behind, literally behind a bookshelf. It could also be like, directionally, it's behind a bookshelf. That's a thing too. Let's go to the grave. Put the flower down and hope it's not a trap. What do I do with a carrot? Place a bouquet of flowers. Huh? No, a path opened. Bun Bun! The bunny's playing something shiny. Pick it up. Get closer. Ouch, it bit me! Use the carrot. Ah, I've seen Monty Python. I ain't messing with this rabbit. I know what's gonna happen if I'm trying to grab it. The bunny stopped playing with the shiny object. It contained a silver coin. Okay, now we can go play the game with the shiny coin. Wait, no. Oh, I thought you were a doppelganger about to murder me. Unless you are. What do you think about the mirrors? Hmm? A shame that they only reflect the outside. What is inside is what truly matters. With that in mind, I do not believe a mirror could ever reflect who you truly are. I guess that makes sense. True bravery is not something others can see. She listened to each word the mysterious lady uttered with great attention. You see, what I mean to say is that you should never judge a book by its cover. A wonderful book could just be waiting for you behind a boring cover. That is just something I wish more humans would understand. Is it just gonna turn out you're a book in the end? A book that was just forgotten. Don't do that, Mr. Bun Bun. Bruh, bruh, bruh. Okay. Win a prize. Insert coin, show the Baltic clown receive a spectacular prize. Obtain a prize. I wonder if you can trade this ball to someone else. I keep forgetting with the select everything manually. This is what I got. Let me see, you got number- Oh no! Oh sorry, this number doesn't get rewarded. I'll give you this paper as a consolation prize. Oh, wait, no music sheet. That's what I need. I guess it's one of those things of like... Don't do it, clown! Don't do it, clowns! 
Wait a minute, this is different. Ruining a book like that is something disgraceful. You hear that clown? Cut it out. Stop clowning around. Okay, now we have a music sheet. Okay, you have the music sheet. Is this music sheet yours? Let me see. Yes, it's one of my music sheets. How could I lose a page? Thank you. <sighs> Instruments started to play a song. I, I can't believe it. They're playing. I see. They refused to play because one of my music sheets was missing. Thank you. I have nothing value to give you, but I hope this is useful to you. Take it. So I say, open the box when the music is stopped. I think it's supposed to be like rude if we open it before they finish. So we'll just chill here. We'll think of our life choices, which are terrible. And then we'll dance. A little bit of a waltz. Left. Right. Left. Left. Point. South. North. South. Left. Left. Right. Right. Yes. Here. We. Go. X. Box. Sucks. Now. Go. Get the tempo. Now break down. Now do the running man. Now do the worm. Great. I wonder how much longer this song is. To be almost over. Oh no, it's played again. There's a key inside. Run for your life! Maybe it was saying, open when the music starts playing. Oh well, we gotta do a dance out of it. Okay, so now what do I do? We have a ball. Oh, I know. We probably can use the ball to bait the bookshelf. And then we get behind the bookshelf to get the red ball. Wait, no, I want balls for juggling. Oh, yeah. Well, we still don't know how to get around that. Clown draws puppet from inside the book. Wait a minute, why did it not, like, trigger this time? Did the clown do it for me? Weird. Take it or leave! Sometimes the longest road is the right one to pick. No! Dang it! You punched me to death! Okay. Never again. You damn clowns. Alright, we got your balls. Now we just need to figure out where this key goes. This clown's gone now, too. Maybe that one room will open up? Oh, hey! 
Our beloved protagonist curiously and carefully looked at every detail of the world she was contained in. <laughs> Are you having fun? I'm sure you have recognized the charm of this library. Yeah, the beer's books here can talk and move. And they can murder me, too. Precisely. A library is a home of books, and in this case, literally. That is why they can talk and move. But why am I trapped here? How do I get back to my world? She asked the girl with golden eyes questions she did not need to ask. Are you trying to end this story before it begins? What a problematic character. Even then, if I gave you an answer, it would not be helpful. It would be much more interesting if you find the answers yourself. This better not be a trap room. It's like, hey, let me out. Let me out. Freedom. I just want freedom. Let's think about that. I guess we do unleash you. You best not murder me. Now you are free to kill. This is freedom? Thank you. The book disappeared. Oh no, he was nice. I'm just such an untrusting person. What's wrong with me? This is the last ball we need. Lots of comedy books are on this bookshelf. Which, which door will you choose? You may only pick one. One on the left, you'll be in for an interesting surprise. If you choose the Oh, I see. If you choose the and then went on to the one on the left. Everything is backwards. So by the one on the left, you mean this one? So why am I hit the save point? That's a tiger! No! Maybe it was left. Wait, no. If it was the left and it was reversed, then it would have been the right, right? Then the interesting surprise was the tiger? Maybe. It depends on how I've overthought of it. Open the armor. You combine the red, green, and blue balls together. Juggling set. Alright, we're out of here. Let's go give the balls to the, the book. No, oh, they're gone. As far as the clowns have never attacked me. Maybe, you know, maybe I'm just judging clowns too wrongly. Maybe it's the books that are the danger. The clowns are helpful. Honk honk. Give the jungling balls. Have you found them? Thank you! Let the show begin! The juggling with your soul. Whatever, think that's a good idea! Wow. It's actually juggling. Whoa, you're incredible. You really have a lot of talent, you know. Thank you, Arya. You know my name? 
Of course. Every book here knows you. You're really popular. The probably all books she read. But now you need to get moving. The show must go on. Okay. Alright. Let's finally go for the store. That girl. She can't be. But what is she doing here? Now I see. Then I don't have a choice. Arya. I will find you. And I will kill you. That's a promise. Cryptic foreshadowing. They're gonna have to get in line, because everything else wants to kill me, too. Are we at a circus? <laughs> oh, no. What's behind door number one? Your doom! Welcome to my humble abode. What a wonderful prize. It's simple. All you have to do is play a little game. Let me explain the rules. I guess I have no other options. You can just walk away. Go home. See these doors? You can enter whichever you want in any order. But when you enter them, you must solve a riddle. The answer will be something you can find in the room. If you don't know the answer, try examining the room around you. So those are the rules. Simple, ain't it? I'll be waiting for you in the rooms. This sucks. Uh, let's try door number one. I don't think I'd love to have the answer to this riddle close to me. Well, that's a normal plant. As I grow older, I get smaller. Do you know what my name is? So that the riddle itself? Oh, so you're giving a hint. And this is the riddle. So the answer to this riddle is something you don't want close to you. And if they grow older, they grow smaller. Do you know what my name is? Well, plants technically get smaller towards the very end of their lifespan, but they do get bigger, so that doesn't count. A grave? You grow older, you get smaller? That doesn't make sense. Why would a clown make sense? A treasure chest. A candle. A chair. A gift. A clock. Why would a clock get smaller as it gets older? I mean, the number goes over. A broom. A plant. A tombstone. A lamp. The only thing I would feel like they didn't want wouldn't want too close to them is Maybe the plant if it's forny. Maybe the kennel because it's hot. Yeah, wouldn't it be a candle? Because they get older they get smaller. It's a candle. A candle. If you get persnickety about capitalization, I'm going to be very upset. Correct. Cool. Good job! Well, this is so bad, there wasn't even a death trap in there. So what's this one? I'd be very upset if you couldn't solve this, you know. Remember that the answer lies inside this room. Okay, that's not even a hint. I am the key to knowledge and I create new worlds. Some find me entertaining, others boring. What is my name? The key to knowledge and they create new worlds. Or not a clown. A gift? How does that create a world? Would we be time? We already did candle. Treasure chest. 
Why well, would a tombstone? Some find me entertaining, others boring. What is my name? Is it you? Like, you're a book. Like, we can't technically select you as an item, per se, but you are in the room. Okay. That's why your your hint was a non-hint. I may not have legs, but I can keep myself on my toes. So it's not the chair. Let's just rule that out. Unless that's not even a hint. You could just be conversing like, Hey, I'm a book. I have no legs. How you doing? I have many legs, but I can't keep myself up. When am I called? Many legs and they can't keep themselves up. It's possibly a broom if you count the bristles as legs. It's not a gift. It's not the clown. And it's not the chair. Because that's keeping itself up. I would think. And tombstones don't have legs. Plants? Maybe because roots are legs, if you stretch the logic there. So I would say the plant or the broom. The plant kind of keeps itself up though, but it's like using dirt and the pod plant there. It's tricky, because I can see both of those things being self standing, but I'll go with plant. No. So was it broom? Okay. So what was my first guess? The broom. The only reason I was downing it is because technically I think you could get a broom to stand up on its own, depending if you really want to. So that's all the riddles, right? What'd I win? Um, sir, there's a door here. My exit. I've solved all your riddles. Oh wait, I just walk around it. That's weird. This is dark. May I remind you that the answer only lies inside this room, even if you cannot see it right now. Maybe I'm not gonna it. No, I'll try to solve without it. Is it just darkness? I can break myself into millions of pieces yet still work. But if I stop moving, so do you. Is it... Is it just an item we can't see? So like, is it the clock? Maybe. Because a clock, technically if it's broken, doesn't work anymore. But time itself keeps going. But if they stop moving, so do you. That's why I would wonder about that. I'm trying to go by items we saw in the other area. It could also be time. The answer lies within you. Oh, a heart! So it was not, it's not, it is an item that's currently in this room, it's not hidden. The answer was the heart. Kubo would be proud. Well done. Congrats, you solved all the riddles. Here, your prize, you earned it. The Ace of Hearts. You can not only learn from books, but also have fun with them, right? And they murder me. Yep, that's why I love books so much. Or they murder me. Oh, now you're making me blush. This is gonna be important later. Okay, there better not be any death traps here, because I don't want to go through all that again. And so one of these dolls hides an object, and each one of these has a sign of a direction where that doll, very doll, hides. Wonder where that doll could be. 
Now when they think and cannot figure it out, there are two types of dolls, orange and purple. But you don't have to trust them all. In fact, one of those type of dolls likes to lie. I'm gonna trust purple, because, you know, daily dose. Purple would go here. Then purple points over here. Where do we start with this? Do we start here? So let's say purple is not the liar. So you go down, down, and then we come to here. But then if yellow is the liar, then this is not the correct way. It'd be this way. And you'd point there. But then you go over here, and then yellow is lying. Then it would not be this way. You would have to go up instead. And you'd go here and then point back there. Maybe purple is the liar. Huh. Talk to these. Each one of these have a sign with a direction where that very doll hides. So maybe it's. We have to just ignore one. So maybe you don't follow it, you just kind of like. So yeah, like the purples are pointing down, see? So if we follow their logic, it'd be. Over here, down, down, down. But up. So it would be this one right here. But no, this one's pointing this way. So would it be this one? But then there's one over here pointing over here. I don't know. I'm gonna give it a shot. Oh! Hmm. So let's assume yellow is telling the truth then. We follow the early logic. Yeah, because it seems a little more consistent. Yellow says to go right. And then it's pointing down. Right here. Actually would be the one. Right? It'd be in this row. Basically. Because they're pointing here and they're all pointing down. And this one's pointing up. But these are pointing to the left. So I'm thinking it might be this one. I find it. It's a card on the floor. Take it. Okay. Dang. Yeah, purple betrayed me. Listen. That clown deserved it. Don't feel bad. Oh no. I heard some of these books are very funny. I like to read them when I'm sad. They always make me feel better. Should I, should I trust the bookshelves? If I get far enough, they can't do anything to me. Where do I? Oh, it forced me to a cutscene. Our beloved protagonist could cautiously continue to explore in the mysterious library. She wanted to uncover the truth, but it was not an easy task. How will our story end? It is uncertain as of yet. So we must sit back and watch how this story unfolds. I have come to give you a little gift. The Ace of Spades. A card? I am sure you will find it more useful than it looks. I'm sure this is the first time you've seen a carousel in the library, correct? The cards. Cards. So we're gonna get a full house. There's a secret passage inside this room. Do you think you're capable of finding it? You know it. Yeah, that's right. Is there a reason I don't want to read the book? There's a card in one of the pages. 
I don't think I get too close to it. I said as I stood next to it. Is that it? Hearts, diamonds, clubs, and spades. Okay, let's go back to her. There are drawings of a clock and card suits. What if it means something? Do you have to put the cards on here? It looks like I could probably put something small and rectangular on top of this carousel's horse. So cards. Does the carousel somehow represent time? They look exactly the same though. Like literally they're exactly the same, just mirrored. Put that there. Let's just put some down. Okay. Let's try this. Put the spade down. The diamond and the clubs. Ow! Oh, okay, so it, they are very specific. And I was actually doing it completely right this entire time without realizing it. You've solved the riddle of the cards. Whatever that means. Have I reached the end of Comedy World? What's next? Chapter 2 Fairy Tales. Oh boy! This better not be a grim fairy tale. I don't trust soldiers with toy guns. Let me tell you, I remember Witch's house. An owl, there's something in its beak. Ooh. Is it for me? Received an invitation. Thank you. Sure. You are formally invited to the party on the third floor. We look forward to meeting you. Yeah, I don't look forward to meeting you. It's pretty dark in here. This bowl of soup and table seems too cold. Too hot. Seems delicious. What could go wrong? That's just right. Man, I'm getting really tired. I think I should take a nap in one of these beds. Take the tulip. Okay, they aren't going that literal with it. Thankfully. I wonder if drinking that soup is gonna come back to haunt me. The doorknob is gone! Oh, there's something around the door. If Goldilocks had been more careful, the blank would have never found her. 